Hello everyone, welcome to my talk, Getting Detached from Emacs. When I started to use Emacs, I quickly gravitated towards using it as much as I could. Magit, Org, Dred, a lot of new possibilities opened up. However, there was a workflow that was difficult for me to replace. The problem for me was running shell commands in sub-processes of Emacs, which in some situations led me to stick to using an external terminal. These situations often revolved around long-running shell commands, either on my local machine or on a remote host. When I was on a remote host, I would also rely on using the program Tmax to be able to detach from the remote process. My main concern at the time was that I didn't want to having to avoid restarting Emacs because I needed to wait for a process to complete. However, there was of course a lot of things I was missing out on by not using Emacs. Therefore, my solution to resolving the issue of occasionally having to leave Emacs led me down the path of developing the package detached. The package allows Emacs to delegate the responsibility of creating processes to the program detach. It also makes sure to write the output of the process to a file, which we will see later on how that is being used. The package makes Emacs capable of attaching to these processes as well as managing them. In the package, each process is called a session, and inside of Emacs, that is just an object with properties such as what command is being run, what working directory is used, where the output is stored, etc. The important aspect is also that these objects are being persistent, so they are stored over time. And today, I'm going to walk you through how I use the package and what advantages there are of treating processes like text. So I'm going to start by opening up Metax shell and I will run a command to update my package manager. Instead of pressing return, I'll simply press shift return to let Emacs delegate the execution to the detached program. Emacs will immediately attach itself to the process and we therefore don't perceive any difference from when running the command as a sub-process. We now have the option though to detach from the session. And later on, we can of course reattach Emacs to the session. For me, this addresses the core of the problem that I had. But let's see what more the new workflow inside of Emacs can bring. The package supports multiple user interfaces, such as eShell and Compile. I will therefore switch to the detach project and I will run the build command that I use. And I will run it with detached compile with the difference that I can detach from the compilation. And one benefit of this new workflow is that I can get a system notification shown up here once a session has finished. Previously, I was either <clears throat> forced to have the terminal open so I could see it or hiding it, but then risking having forgotten it. So, um, how do we then see the output of a session? Well, get the detached list sessions command. And here we see the, the command that we just built. And we see geeks poll with an asterisk indicating that it's um, is continuously running. So uh, if I press enter, 
we will get the output of the session here. And since it was run using compile, we also have a compilation mode enabled here, so we could navigate between potential warnings or errors. And we see that there is a, a warning here. One uh, thing that I have prepared here is that if I open up the, the user interface, we only see uh, two sessions. But that is because we applied a filter here. So we have actually the only sessions that are created within the last 12 hours and that are considered unique. So if I remove the uniqueness, we also see that we have a previous uh, build running on the main branch. So I think that's typically normal that you might have that. And since the sessions can be considered text, we can just mark these two and check does this warning exist on the main branch or not. So we can just diff these ones and we see that the warning is only present on the emacsconf branch. Now, another benefit, in my opinion, of the new way of working is that I have these properties being displayed in the user interface, so I can quickly see which, which commands are still running, uh, what holes they are running on, where they are running, and for how long they have been running. And if they have run, how long did it take? Uh, occasionally though, there might be even um, more uh, input needed to distinguish sessions. So what I typically do then is press A to annotate the session. So I would add a warning uh, found at emacsconf. And then it will show up this annotation in the echo area when I uh, select the session. So um, <clears throat> another great improvement of using uh, these sessions and consider them being text is, oh, now we also see the geeks poll completed here. So then, then we can also select and see that okay, there is a lot of a lot of updates in this um, in this command, but let's not look at it now. Let's instead um, remember that uh, previously last week when I when I run a geeks poll, I saw an Emacs package that that looks interesting and. I remember, don't remember its full name, but it had something to do with collection. So um, what I then could do is remove the 12 hour narrowing criteria. And we can see here I got sessions ranging back even to 28th of, 28th of October. And since these are just to be considered text, I can now let's first narrow the sessions to only show the ones that run Geek's poll. And then I will narrow based on the output containing a regular expression. So I remember it was something with collection. And we get one hit. So here there should be something with collection. And okay, it was Emacs fly make collection. So this is something that uh, <clears throat> is a very nice feature to have. It doesn't create any overhead uh, of having these old sessions lying around. And occasionally, it can be interesting to, to search through them as well. So for me, this is another example of when bringing workflows into Emacs it often 
opens up new exciting possibilities. So thanks a lot for listening.